There he is. There he is. It's only six hours Se late. Yes, yeah, seven hours late almost. Six. <laughs> only been up since 5.30 this morning. I'm miserable and exhausted, but what that's the okay. Hell happened, We're here. Dude? But I'm ready to go to the hotel and go to bed. Let's I can tell you that much. Let's go. All right, stop number two, uh, Sola Coffee. I'm ready for it. Yeah. We were in Vegas last week, okay. this week. Raleigh, North Carolina, we're doing we, we an got NC some, State game. We got recommendations to come this way. A lot budget. of recommendations ah. for Sola Coffee. All right, so we're just going with the house blend here today? I think so. We gotta go out to practice for NC State. So I'm gonna go with the house blend. Right, A little okay. lighter roast. And it's local, it's different. Yeah. It's from the area, so you know, we'll be able to judge you know, what they're Absolutely. House oh, one coffee's like. Just saw the what avocado that? toast. That's pretty good. Avocado toast. Avocado is crazy. I don't Super like food. You know that. Right? It is Super good. Food. I don't like avocado. Well, that's right. I took your avocados I, off the yeah, salad. Yeah, but I like time. guacamole. So what's up with that? You're weird. It's crazy. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna take three uh, of the house blend. Yeah. Give me mediums. mediums. Yeah, mediums are fine. Yeah, that'd be good. Solid coffee, dude. I'm ready. Ready to try it. This is nice. Look at all the people in there. That's how you know the place is good. Yeah, it's good. I like it. How do you do your coffee? No, no, no. So, I, I, is it, what is this? That's is this, uh, probably cream. Is that milk? Half and half. Where's this the milk? Skim. Skim milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skim milk. So we go skim milk. And then I need, I need a little more thickness in here. Skim milk. But here's the other thing. Like, everybody like gives me a hard time about like how much sugar I put in the coffee. I essentially will put in maybe three packs, maybe four at the most. It looks like a lot. But you know how much is in a Trivia. you know how much is in a can of Coke? How much? Try a like lot. Thirteen packs yeah, yeah. of sugar. Thirteen. How was it? Good. I like a nice light roast, medium yeah, roast. Very me good. Very good. I always drink the coffee with a straw too. Oh, that sounds, sounds weird. This lady's but. trying to get in here. Solar coffee, Mike. What do you think? It's good. It's good. I like it. I know I look kind of weird because of the straw, but I uh, always drink coffee with a straw. Weird. It's okay. It's very good. Good. Uh, good house blend. Really. Yeah. Really no, it coffee. is good. No, I like it. I like a light roast. Still Remember do. back when we were at UMass? They had the uh, the blue wall there in the campus center. The campus I like center. that. I like Underneath local the hotel. coffee. Yeah. It brings you back to college. It does. College it does. atmosphere. A lot of people here. Good vibe for the yep. NC State JMU game tomorrow. I need to have coffee before we go to a walkthrough. So on our way to the NC State walkthrough, I need a good good cup of coffee. There's a lot of traditions then. Coffee in the morning, coffee before the walkthrough, <laughs> coffee in the afternoon. Uh, coffee getting off the plane. Yes. Coffee I know I got you last night a coffee at 11.30 people, at night. Well, that's what people ask me. Like, you're having coffee at 11.30? I said, I can have a cup of coffee and I can fall asleep 45 seconds later. It doesn't, doesn't bother me doesn't. either. Yeah. It's a, it's a that's little, because your it's energy a, level's up here. Uh, so even a coffee would bring you down here. You, it's but, a relaxing <laughs> drink. Drink to me, it's a social drink, yeah. and uh, that's why I like it. Solar coffee, it thumbs up for me. On and Off the Mic is sponsored by First State Orthopedics, keeping you moving with state of the art techniques. Learn more at firststateortho.com. Maddie, nice Mike Corey, you. nice to meet Reno. you. Nice, nice to meet you, me. Maddie. Ariane, Mike Corey, how are you? Nice That's to meet you. That's great. This is a very special place, and, and I, I applaud ESPN for doing doing that at, across the nation. I think that that really is going to um, give a lot of happiness to, to kids who are watching. I turned it on this morning, and they were somewhere else in the country. And yeah. It's just thank you for, for stepping up and doing that. Oh, look how cute. Goodies. Oh, oh, you're sweet. Oh, look what you got. You got your breakfast. If you eat your breakfast, you know what you get? A toy. Mommy gets to give you that <laughs> teddy bear. And if you eat it all, you get another one too, okay? Well, how about this? You want to give me a hug? <gasps> nice. Oh. Sweet. Scarlett, how old are you? Three. Three? Wow. You're big. Thank you. Uh, Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. You're cute. Right, so yeah. at the pediatric intensive care unit, because we're a level yeah. one trauma center. Right. So those kiddos unfortunately have to stay a long time yeah, okay. and then often go on to our rehab hospital so we have a rehab hospital here that's exceptional mm -hmm. uh, one of the best in, in the country and so those kids stay longer uh, these kind of things are more like four or five days right. hopefully a little less yeah uh, you know we do everything from broken bones to uh, viruses to appendixes that need to come out and unfortunately flu season's about to start. Yeah. 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 Hi Paige. Hey Paige. Hi. Look, mom's wearing an you are mom, right? Yes. NC She's State ready. Wolfpack She's already shirt. ready for the game. Oh, Who's I doing like all this. these drawings by the way? This frog. I love this frog. That's great. Oh. You did oh, that? You did that? Yeah. How good oh, is okay. that? Peace. All right. All right. All right. 
Gotcha. Well, and you have a hurt knee too, so I don't maybe, I can, maybe his doctor can look at me. Here. My knee is killing me. So I've had a few <laughs> surgeries on my knee, and I'm just beat up now. So my wife told me to stop complaining, no? <laughs> so I stopped. That's awesome. great. That's awesome. All right, appreciate it. Great, great. pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, very absolutely. Much. This is Dr. Michael Axe of First Day Orthopedics, the team taking care of Delaware from the beach to the bridge and beyond. If you watch SEC football, you've seen players going into the tent behind the bench, sometimes with medical staff and sometimes alone. If the athlete is with the staff, the athlete's injury or condition is being examined for severity and the likelihood of returning to play without a camera being focused on the situation. I assure you that the opponent has a TV on and is paying close attention. If the athlete is in there alone, it could be something quite physiologic. The athlete drank plenty of liquids and doesn't want to go clear to the locker room bathroom. He obviously wanted to avoid cramping. This is Dr. Michael Axe of First Aid Orthopedics, the team taking care of Delaware from the beach, the bridge, and beyond. I got Reedy carrying my uh, suit coat. Hello, hello. Thanks, Reedy. Going to the right. Yes, I am carrying your stuff. Yeah, a little under the weather. Throat was a little sore yesterday, and uh, but I slept good last night, so. And somebody's hacking your Twitter account, so Someone, that's not good. I, I can't get into Twitter. I'm very upset. Counts locked out, but we'll figure it out. What's uh, what's Denver like? Have you ever been out there before that? Or is uh, yeah, I went one time with my mom. I just went downtown for like two or three days. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Not that I've been watching mountains. It's nice. It's, like, it's such a misconception. People uh -huh. think like it's just so cold or whatever. I'd say it's not. You have everything. You have like nice down there. This one? The mountains are beautiful. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. like in the winter it's, it's cold, fun. but. The sun comes down and makes it look Yeah. Crazy. Must be a fun homecoming for this guy. I gotta be busy when you get back to Raleigh, North Carolina here from Carter Finley Stadium. Bradley Chubb, the fifth overall pick to the NFL draft to the Denver Broncos. You got a lot of fan uh, attention and support here when you come back to this place, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I'm playing this stuff, I go through like things, can't really say anything to the fans, but not, uh, just on the sideline watching, I get to talk to the fans. So they've been involved oh. in some of these plays very early. You talk about reading, recognizing, and reacting to a play. Wayne Davis sees bubble screen. He goes. He's another one of those transfers we talked about. He came from Ohio State. And he's actually getting blocked in the back as well. Forces the play. Lets his teammates get there to make the tackle. I mean, this is how you defend bubble screen. What do you got? Snickers. It's satisfying. I need a snack. What are you, what are you doing? Where'd you get that? Right there. Okay. Hey, okay. Greeny. Greeny. What? What do you want? Listen, talk Not about, you, Talking in the fourth quarter about the heat possibility. This which team's in better shape. Maybe right. Jamie right. looks more healthier. Want more music? Oh, it was Drake last week. It was Drake, but you're a week late. Um, listen, it's all you could hope for. You get to the fourth quarter, you got a good game. I think James Madison wins this game. You do? I think they do. Yeah. Listen, what was the focus? What did Dave Doran tell us? Yeah. We need to score in pressure situations yeah, yeah. at the end of the game. Hey, now let's get that uh, NC State focus in uh, you know, to talk about that because this was a big key in pressure situations. Can we do that? It's Gillespie. There he goes. Into the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. As the Wolfpack is going to hold on to get the victory today. Danucci's pass. Caught here, but out of bounds by David Eldridge. And that's how this game ends up. That's all for us for Rini and Golia. Mike Corey, thanks for watching. The final from Raleigh, NC State 24, JMU 13. Week one in the Bucks, boys. It was a good one. We knew JMU was going to play tough, no doubt about it. Now, the secret is getting to the airport for that quick flight home. Making our getaway. I'm going to go home in the shirt and tie, but I am going to put my Why? suit coat. I don't feel like changing. You relax. I'm, I'm going to take the tie off. Home. I'm going to put my coat. I like to look Raleigh. professional every once in a while. Yeah. Hey, um, we love this place so much. We're coming back here next week. Yeah, listen. Good <laughs> game. Good opening awesome. start to the weekend. We knew JMU was going to play tough. Yep. Uh, North Carolina State, though, got the much-needed win. And we're going to be back at this airport heading to Greenville, right? North right. Carolina ECU. for ECU taking on North Carolina next week. That's a 3.30 game on ESPNU next Saturday. See you next week in Greenville, North Carolina. Good work, my friend. Bye-bye. All right, talk to you. Another good Thanks. one. Thanks. Good job. Hey, Mike. How you doing? You're good. looking good. Yeah, we're going up to the booth. Going uh, up to the booth. Make sure it's all set up for tomorrow. That's right. The way Mike Corey likes it. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. if it's not, you know who messes with the booth? 
Brian Corey messes with the booth if it's not set up for to his brother's likings. Like the mafia. He's like the, the mafia of the booths. Very high maintenance here, this, uh, this crew. Yeah.